just like so. So let's just get the edge for now. About like that. If you hold down Alt, you can kind of do the middle, but we need to drop that exposure down to about 20. And we can kind of do it like so. And that's looking pretty good. Let's do the same thing with the stem. Only smaller, of course. Just the this one side over here. And then we can lighten up this one. Make this bigger again. Go back to this layer. And let's just darken this one side over here. And that's probably a little bit too dark. So let's just make this bigger. And let's just do this one side and kind of lighten it up a little bit. So it kind of looks like we're fading from this side over. Um, and that's looking pretty cute, actually. It's not, not too bad right there. All right, and I uh, believe that we've got most of this where we need it. Um, but we may want to draw some actual black lines on this pumpkin. Uh, kind of depends on what you prefer, but... Um, I know for sure I wanted to get rid of that that one there that I had there because I did not like that at all, this one here. And that doesn't look too bad like that. Might, 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 might not look too bad like that. So, um, just thinking what I can do here. Let's go ahead and create a folder and we'll just drop everything into there except for the main pumpkin image. And let's go ahead and just make this, uh, well, first of all, let's just duplicate that, hide it, and then we're make this About like that. And we'll make another one. like so, and then we have a, a nice patch of pumpkins. Let's go ahead and grab our pen tool again. We're going to create a new folder, and let's just create a little ground like so. Make that green. Grab our brush tool. load some grass brushes in that I have happen to have. We used these before. And we can just kinda put some of these in there like this. Maybe make the background behind everything blue. Kind of a light blue and then a little bit lighter. Maybe do a little fade job. Like so. And then we'll put some words in here. We'll find some decent looking text. Something like that actually looks pretty nice. Stroked up with black. Or even brown actually could work. Dark brown, like so. that. Maybe do some little lines. These are a little bit too big. Let's do two pixels. 
like so. And just like that, we have created a nice little pumpkin patch image. Uh, let's go back to these two and move those above the ground. Whoa. Like so. We'll move those over. Move these back over here. About like so. Edit, transform, flip horizontally. And there we go. That makes a little bit more sense. And then we can go back to the ground layer here. Whoa. And we can then burn around the actual pumpkins. So it looks like they're sitting on the ground a little bit. And I believe these need to go above there as well. And we'll just burn those in as well. Kind of like so. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this lesson. I have really enjoyed teaching you. And stay tuned for more uh, tutorials from pixelforlife.com. Thanks, guys.